If you've been watching the news lately, you'll likely have heard about how generative AI is beginning to proliferate over many parts of the content creation landscape. For the uninitiated, generative AI is an implementation of artificial intelligence that can generate novel content rather than simply analyzing or acting on existing data. Even in these early stages, it's already beginning to show its potential in areas such as script writing, text-to-speech generation, music creation, and more. In this video, we're going to take a look at some of the tools available today and how you can leverage them alongside Camtasia to make videos extremely quickly. In this video, we'll pretend that we're looking to make a narrative video about the history and evolution of the smartphone. A great way to start a narrative video is with a script, but this is often the hardest part because you're starting with a blank slate. To help us with that, we'll take a look at our first AI tool, ChatGPT. ChatGPT is a chatbot built on OpenAI's family of GPT large language models. To start, we'll ask it to write us a seven paragraph narrative script on the history and evolution of the smartphone industry. We'll even instruct it to give us an interesting intro and ending. The AI will get to work constructing what we've asked for. It's important to remember that these models are still not without their flaws, and while their ability to find information and parse it into natural language is impressive, the reality is that it can be wrong, so make sure to check the output for accuracy. When the AI is finished, you'll see that it's constructed a fairly interesting story of the smartphone industry. So we have our script, but this is a video, so we need some voice narration. This brings us to our next AI technology, speech synthesis. There are a few different tools to do this, but for this video, we'll be using Microsoft's Azure text-to-speech service. To start though, we're going to go back to our chat GPT output and grab a few paragraphs of text. We have to do this a few paragraphs at a time, and you'll see why in a second. Next, we'll go to Microsoft's text-to-speech demo and paste in our block of text. If you find that it's too long, you can always trim off a bit. We can then play with some of the generative settings, including voice, speaking style, and speed. When you're ready, hit the play button to hear what the synthesized voice sounds like with your narration. In the early days of the 21st century, smartphones were a luxury item reserved for the wealthy and tech savvy. But as technology advanced and prices dropped, smartphones became a necessity for millions of people around the world. Today, they are an integral When you're happy with the result, you can use Camtasia's recorder to record the sound with the system audio setting. And finally, our last AI tool, music generation. Having a great music bed to go along with your video can really help keep your viewer engaged. But often finding music that's a good fit, falls within licensing guidelines, or both, can be hard to do. AI-generated music can often get you a great result while eliminating the hassle. In this example, we'll be using an AI music generation tool called Ava. After making an account, click on the Create Track button. This brings you to the library view where you can listen to some different music styles to serve as a base to start generating your track from. Let's listen to a few different styles. After you've found one that you like, click on the Create button next to the track. You can tweak a few settings, or just generate with the defaults. Sit tight while the robots generate your music track. When it's ready, click the Play button next to your track to preview it. Pretty good, but those horns are a bit much. Not a problem though, we can get rid of them. Click the three button menu on the track and choose open an editor. This opens an editing view where you can see each of the different instruments that the AI generated for your music track. In this case, our horns are on the melody track, so we'll simply delete that whole track. Let's save the changes, re-render the track with those new changes, and then listen. Thank you. 
that's a lot closer to what I was looking for. Of course, this is your music track, so you can customize it as much as you want, or simply throw it away and start over. So now, let's take our synthesized voice narration and generated music bed, and combine it with some simple stock photos and videos to see what we can come up with. In the early days of the 21st century, smartphones were a luxury item reserved for the wealthy and tech savvy. But as technology advanced and prices dropped, smartphones became a necessity for millions of people around the world. Today, they are an integral part of our daily lives, connecting us to the internet, our friends and family, and a wealth of information at our fingertips. But how did we get here? Let's take a look at the history and evolution of the smartphone industry. Not too bad. And the great thing is, if you ever need to tweak anything in your narration or music, you can always go back and iterate on it quickly. The most manual part of the process is finding your stock visual content. There's some great AI tools beginning to come online for that as well, such as Stable Diffusion. But at the time of this video, they're still not quite ready for production. Perhaps a future video will touch on how to use those tools as well. Thanks for watching how to use generative AI tools with Camtasia. This is a space that's rapidly evolving, and hopefully it gives you some ideas on how to make your video creation workflow faster and easier. If so, make sure to like and subscribe for more great tips about how to use Camtasia and other TechSmith products.